Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. Hope you guys are doing well, sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. Oops. So this will not resonate with all of you. Oh, the cards are acting crazy for you guys. So this is going to be an interesting reading. Um, back to what I was saying. <laughs> This is a general collective reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates, leave the rest, but this could resonate with you if you have placements in your birth chart in Pisces or you're dealing with somebody that does. You will know if this is your reading, so do not try to make the reading fit your situation. All right. Personal readings are closed. Please take a moment to read through the description box before um, watching this reading. I would appreciate it. And don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in collective readings. And I am a little sick, guys, so if I sound a little bit stuffy, that is why. I apologize. All right, Pisces. All right, guys. So, signs that I'm seeing here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy is here. I see Aries energy. I also see air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we also have fire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So... First of all, I'm seeing that somebody is trying to manifest a way to maybe move in a different direction, or maybe they are trying to manifest a new pathway, like to present itself to them. There is too many people in this reading. There's a lot of re people here. I see that there's somebody here that's guarded. Somebody is not down for just passion. Somebody does does not want just passion. They want so I feel like that you got somebody wants something passionate and also stable. They want commitment. They're not down for one night stands and casual sex and stuff like that. Somebody is very guarded towards that. All right. I also see that there's a masculine here. That feels could be going through a, hard, a financial hardship or they're going through some type of self-esteem, self-worth issues or feeling abandoned. And then I also see a water sign, a water sign, another masculine here. Maybe this is somebody trying to weigh their options when it comes to people. I see that there's some type of uh, masculine that is very, a water masculine here that is very um, giving. Or like they, so I see that somebody couldn't make up their mind. Somebody, but I feel like somebody has made up their mind now. Somebody wants to 
trying to resurrect a, a situation with you and they want to squash a be beef between the two of you. They want to do right by you, bring balance and justice to a situation with that in regards to you. But this is very strange reading. Like, it's like I'm almost picking up on a person. Like, there's somebody that, like, they, they have no problem giving you passion or they're, they have no problem sleeping with people. But when it comes to, like, emotionally investing, that's where they maybe have an issue. And you guys are not down with that, all right? You guys want something that's, you. it's like, you're, I mean, you're cool with the passion, but you need other things to come along with that. You need commitment. You need to be able to trust that person. You need to know that, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, there's other things that you want besides just sex and passion. But I see that this person has no problem with that. But when it comes to a, a making an emotional investment, they're ha they have a hard time reciprocating that. This person may not have, they may have no, no problem give because I was getting like this energy like, this person maybe has no problem giving money as well. Like they'll give you money. But when it comes to emotions, they have a hard time with that. So this person will give you money. They'll give you, you know, sex and passion, but they won't give you that emotionally emotional vulnerability. Somebody is praying for a door to open for them, for a certain path to open to them, or try, they're trying to manifest that to happen. All right. Clarifiers. Yeah, like you guys are just like praying for a certain, like you guys feel like you're like maybe in limbo or like in just like this transitional period in your life. And it's like you're just praying to like not be, to be out of this stage of your life, to finally move into your new life, to manifest the life that you desire so you don't have to be in limbo, to finally be in that relationship that you desire. You're sick of just being caught in between your old life and your new life. All right. But let's see here we have the wheel here you guys are going to be reaching a turning point things are going to start working out look at this so the divine's bringing around some type of long-term partner for you marriage possibly yeah you're going to be meeting somebody that has the potential to turn into some one that you marry but it's going to take a lot of work it's not going to be easy but there is some type of good news coming in towards you. Could be through a dream. Or you're going to have an opportunity to really do something that you have always dreamed of doing. And that could be what this news is, this phone call, this text message. Yeah, it's like you guys have some type of soulmate connection with somebody who is like they could be an air sign <laughs> but um they just use logic over emotion but this person actually does feel very intense emotions for you They've been hiding this from you. They're just a very cautious person. They could have isolated themselves from you to focus on career. They could have isolated themselves because they felt like their money was just not where it was supposed to be. Um, we did have this King of Wands with this Five of Pentacles. And they just felt like they needed to maybe just choose to be alone until they got their financial situation figured out. Yeah, they felt like... So... 
spirit blocked this connection for at least the time being. It wasn't going to be able to prog progress unless somebody focused on their money situation or they their own stability. But it does look like there's about to be a cup. The situation is about to come back around. You're finally going to be stepping into a new experience in your life. You're not, you're not going to be in that weird limbo period anymore. You're going to be stepping into, it's like, you're going to like from here on out, you're only going to be choosing to deal with th certain things in your life. Um, if it, you feel like it's for your highest good or it's in alignment with your divine path. Somebody is also maybe leaving situations that they just don't feel like they vibe with anymore, that they fit into anymore, and they don't think that are for their highest good. So they're leaving those situations and they're wanting something new and better for their life. Maybe that's why somebody has been trying to manifest a new path for themselves because they just don't feel like the life that they're living, they, they don't feel like it's right for them. Maybe somebody is having to reevaluate their circle. Somebody is maybe like cutting toxic friends out of their life. as well yep I told you something's coming back around here the past is coming back around and spirit is saying that this is a rare opportunity this connection that you share with this person that's coming back around is a rare connection. There's a rare love between you and this person. This person may have had a hard time opening themselves up to their true feelings for you. But yeah, look at this. The, a man is probably a masculine. That's who I'm talking about. It could be a feminine for some of you. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is referring to a masculine. This person has been taking their time. There's been delays in this person coming back towards you. You guys could have been frustrated with how this situation has been going. But you guys, I also feel like you've just tried to stay patient and persevere and just hope, you know, knowing that by knowing that, you know, the divine has your highest good in mind. You know what I mean, they they're not going to, you know, do anything that. How do I say that? It's like just you just by trusting the divine. And being in that mentality, like what's meant for me won't pass me by. I feel like. That's what's manifesting this new opportunity for you or this new path for you. Um, but yeah, I just see that this person has been taking their their time to come back towards you. But look at this. We have the lightning here. So they're about to be coming towards you quickly now. They've been taking their time, but something's about to change very swiftly. And this person's going to be coming back to you. It's probably going to catch you off guard when this person comes back towards you. Yeah, look at this waiting game. You guys are maybe waiting for this person for, you know, a time being. Or you expected to hear from them sooner than you have. And um, for some of you, you did to some degree put your life on hold for this person. And you should never do that. Um, I just feel like you guys were like anticipating to hear from this person. Or for them to come back and try to make things right with you. But they have maybe been taking a really long time. Yeah, it's like you've been waiting for a new opportunity or a new a chance to start over. Um, man, I feel like it's been taking longer than you would like, but look at this. The love offer is coming in. Somebody's about to offer something to you or ask you out. Yeah, you guys have been possibly waiting for this person to offer you their love, commitment, ask you out on a date, or some of you guys, you've been waiting for a job offer for the job of your dreams to present itself to you, but there's just been a lot of obstacles and challenges that have been causing delays. There still may be some obstacles and challenges and possible delays. Let's see. But Spirit says this is so rare. It's worth the wait is what I'm getting here. And they, when they, it does come around, they want you to seize this opportunity. There, somebody has been stuck in a cycle. That has brought them a lot of sadness. 
they regret so somebody somebody is in deep regret because they felt like they just kept they they feel dumb because they're realizing that they just had they were just they knew better and they didn't do better that's pretty much what's happening here they were refusing to let go of past people past situations unhealthy patterns even though they knew that they needed to they knew that those things weren't for their highest good but i feel like somebody's health is improving yeah somebody is like finally letting go they've learned their lesson so now they're in a better energy to they're now they're coming in being more open to love being more vulnerable wanting to actually date what is this though what about the devil boundaries they maybe had to set some type of boundaries in their life what does this have to do with my pisces poor health so you guys maybe need to set boundaries with this person because this person Yeah, here's, I knew this card was going to come out, the boundaries card. So you guys are guarded towards them. But because you think that they're maybe still toxic or they still have an addiction, they're maybe still, they have some type of bad find. Something's toxic about them. But I clarified this and Spirit is saying that there has been some type of positive change in this person. This person maybe just did a number on you at some point. And so you guys, like, even though you guys have been maybe waiting for this person to come back around or you have anticipated that they would try to come back around. Um, you guys are going to be guarded when they do. But Spirit says that, you know, they there has been some type of positive change in this person. Um, and they want you to also know that you are protected. All right. Even if this person was still toxic, they are protecting you. All right. But definitely set boundaries if that's what you feel you make will make you feel comfortable in this situation. Or don't talk to this person at all. It's completely up to you. You know, you don't have to take this person back or let them back into your life. But Spirit just says, like, try to be a little bit more lighthearted or a little bit open-minded or, um, yeah, like, it's like when this, I feel like Spirit is saying that this person's coming back different. You guys obviously aren't going to know that at first. So they're saying just like kind of keep an open mind. All right. Now, like I said, guys, you guys don't have to even entertain this person. It's completely up to you. But if you still are kind of like desiring to try to make something work with this person, you're going to have to lighten up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to extend this reading because I want to take a deeper look to see what this person's intentions are with coming back towards you. Take a look at the future, etc. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Um, and don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in um, collective readings. But other than that, guys, I um, hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.